With Minecraft 1.14 just around the corner, I want to show all of you some of my favorite additions to add to any Minecraft world. Today we're going to take a look at over 50 different build ideas that you can add to your world to spruce things up just a little bit. Let me know at the end of this video what your favorite idea is, but with that, let's get on with it. First up, a small animal den hidden off the side of your roadway. Maybe something that you can view just from the barely from the side of the road that causes you to come out here to want to look into it. Maybe adding a traveling merchant along your road it would be a great way to add some interest while you're moving around. Bored of your current project? Maybe it's time to go mining. Or better yet, build a brand new custom mine shaft that you can just find randomly around the world. Have you ever wanted to figure out how to add lore to your world, but you don't know where to start? Maybe start by throwing some ancient shrines hidden around your entire world. They might not have a great amount of meaning to them, but you can come up with something later. And they do look pretty freaking cool and they're fun to randomly find. Minecraft landscapes can be very, very beautiful, but they can also be very, very green or just very yellow. Maybe you should add in a small pond hidden along the edge of your pathway here so that you can just see that nice little glimpse of blue as you're walking through a forest. To go along with more things that you might find while walking through a forest, how about adding an animal cave and to make it even more gruesome and to tell a story behind it, splatter some redstone around there to make it look like they maybe attract a prey or something. You maybe hide a skeleton head in the back as well. One of the things I've been wanting to see in Minecraft for a very long time is some bees or some flying animals throughout the entire area, or just small critters running around. And I think adding some beehives with a bunch of flowers around would be a cool way to add an interesting aspect to any farm that you're working on. Something out of the ordinary than just a wheat field. Minecraft has some great forests and some great areas around, but one thing that it doesn't have is fallen trees. You can easily make a forest look so, so much more interesting by simply toppling one of those trees over and laying it down on its side so there's some actual life to the region. Not all trees would be perfectly standing up straight. Some would definitely be falling over on the side through a storm or something like that. Sometimes just adding a flower field off to the side of a pathway can add so much more interest to it. So it's not just trees on trees on trees. You actually get a tiny bit of color added in there, which is just perfect for it. A lot of times pathways in Minecraft are just dirt and cobblestone and gravel going along through for the entire distance. You can mix that up a lot by adding in just some railings on a few parts of it. Maybe make it look like somebody came in here and reinforced this area so that people can't fall off to the side. You don't always need a bridge, but you can at least mix it up in small areas. Sometimes adding an old ancient archway to help break things up a bit more so that you have just that, that much more interest to the area can really help add just so much to it. There's no reason for this thing being here with the current build in here, but just this old ancient vine covered archway can really, really make a huge difference for us. Got a giant plains area that you're working with? Maybe add in some small groves of trees and areas so you can have small tiny forested areas in there just to help break up the skyline and break up the general vibe of the entire area so you just add so much more interest as you're moving around it. Speaking of moving around, maybe this guy was flying around this corner too fast here, hit a rock and his cart toppled over to the side. And now there's this broken down cart along the edge here. His, his pumpkins over here did not make it to their final destination, but that's okay because it adds so much to our world. Got an area where you're never planning to add a village or a town or anything like that? Maybe bring in like a burnt down homestead so where somebody used to live. So you have some old fields that are still kind of growing kind of struggling to get along here, and then you have just this old burnt down house that really has nothing going on for it too much. We can have some broken away roadways here where some of the swamp might have encroached and really destroyed the roadway here, so it's all flooded, but people still need to get across, so maybe some wood planks just to mix up the texture of the road here can be a good way to go just to, again, mix things up. Got a medieval Minecraft world that you're working on? You definitely have to add the superior siege weapon in here. Being the trebuchet, if you're trying to create some amazing castle or battle scene, you definitely have to have one of these guys in there, at least somewhere. Well, 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 what do we got here? Oh, it's a well. Something great that you can add in any narrow corner nooks or things you got around the cities. Something just to add that again, that little bit of blue in here to mix things up. Minecraft 1.13 gave us one of the coolest new features. Chickens can no longer jump over trapdoors. This is something I love adding into my world. Also with the dead coral fans, you can create some amazing little chicken nests here. Small carts dotted along the buildings are going throughout your entire city? You betcha. Got all those amazing diamond tools that you're somehow building throughout the entire world? Maybe make a forge to go along with those and you can actually have a reason for where those came from. Small parks are one of my favorite things to add into cities, but along with that, a small public 
bookshelf or library area where people can trade books without and all their different neighbors, amazing to add in. Another great idea would be to create a small flower shop or flower stand, some market stall throughout your city so that you can just see little vendors across the entire area. Got some dead space in your build that you have no idea what to do with it? Turn it into a small seating area where you can just look at everything else. If you're like me and you love building custom trees, why not add some palm trees to your world? Just add something more in there. We don't have these trees by default yet. Hopefully they're actually coming soon per what Mo Yang said, but why not build them now? Got a tiny river or a small pond that you want to add a tiny, tiny canoe to? Go for it. You can make these things really, really easily out of some stairs, slabs, and some quick trap doors. Need more tiny things to build? How about a small handcart here using a hopper and some trap doors and a simple fence gate? Still enjoying those custom trees? How about a giant custom birch tree? Yep, birch trees are actually useful. You can make the wood look good. You just gotta put a little extra work into these ones. But they can turn out pretty dang good in my opinion. Custom oak trees more your style? Using the new jungle leaves that we have from Joppa's texture pack, you can actually make some pretty crazy looking custom oak trees just using oak leaves and jungle leaves just to mix things up just a bit there. You get so much more texture in them. It obviously wouldn't be some Minecraft world without a giant random wheat field in it, so why not just plant one of those guys as you're running around? And P.S. You don't actually need water on every single area. They don't have to be watered. They can actually still grow. It's just way, way slower. Like your custom fields, but also have that need to harvest them. Maybe going for something that's purely aesthetic, so you can't quite harvest it. How about creating a giant vineyard? It makes things a bit more interesting in your field areas, your farmland region, than just having wheat in one tall block plants everywhere. Since we don't quite have apple trees in the game, but we have a way to harvest apples from oak trees, I love creating small little apple orchards out of some custom oak trees in here and just making it look so much more interesting. So you can have some orchard ne orchards next to all your fields just to add some more variety to those guys as well. Continuing along the lines of custom fields we can add in, using the lilac plant, you can make some really cool and kind of believable lavender fields. And I love adding these around just because you get that extra bit of color in here. It's just so, so cool and rewarding. Not all fields though need to have crops in them. Make a dead field, make it look like there was some sort of a crop rotation going on where the soil has just died so much that they can't use it anymore. It just adds so much more interest to your world. Obviously most Minecraft worlds are about function, but once you get beyond that functional point, you're gonna have so many extra crops lying around. Why not make some ones that look really cool? So you can make these giant tilled fields and add stripes of crops in here so it's not just completely filled to the rim. For carrots here, it actually looks really dang cool. For the new potato crop texture that Joppa has made recently as well, it makes it very, very cool and useful for these types of fields as well. Just adding that extra bit of detail in here, and from way up high, these things look pretty freaking insane. Going on with adding more life into your Minecraft world, what if you make a field look like it was recently harvested? I love doing these ones by filling the entire area with wheat, then chop it all down, see how many hay bales you get out of it, and stack those up hidden throughout the fields. If you throw a fence on top, it makes it look like you have a bit of a pile going on there, and it's much, much more believable. Now, obviously, we do have more crops to go through in Minecraft, so of course we gotta include our sunflower fields in here, too. These things look great. Get that yellow field going on in there with everything else. Oh, man, these things together look so freaking cool. I know, I know, I promise. Last one, maybe, we might do some more. But what about a pumpkin patch? You got pumpkins in Minecraft too. I like making these ones just having a few stems hidden around the entire area, then adding in a bunch of pumpkins and some grass and dead bushes and stuff to make it look like the field has a lot more things going on in it than just lines and lines of pumpkins like we can normally grow in Minecraft. Maybe boats are more your style and you wanna live along the water, but you don't really know what to do. Small tiny sailboats that are only like three blocks wide with some trap doors on the outside. Great, great small additions if you're living on a river or something like that, maybe a small river barge. You can add so many different things in here for that. Maybe you wanna make your village look like there's a party going on. Stream some like streamers and party banners going along the top with a bunch of colorful wool. Maybe the symbols or colors of the city or village that you're working on it right there. Great way to add some interest. Speaking of small interesting spots that really make a village come more alive, maybe add some interesting element that's unique to that village. Like an archery range, for example. Maybe there are archers hidden in the forest, hidden in the woods doing their Robin Hood thing. If there's an area where you always walk over and you keep finding yourself jumping down and then back up a hill and then up and over a mountain or whatever it could be, maybe consider just adding a bridge through that area so you can have just a quick way to get across for functional purpose and you can make the thing look pretty dang cool here too. And you know, maybe maybe if you really wanna go up and above, build on, build on an angle, just give it a shot for once. 
Revisiting the idea of magic shrines hidden around your world that really have no purpose except for looking really cool, maybe you find a cool peninsula jutting out into this giant, giant ocean where you can see nothing but the blue sea beyond you. Maybe adding like a trident statue or something like that right along the edge can really mix things up. Now what would a Minecraft 1.13 slash 1.14 build idea video be without a coral reef? Come on guys, I had to include this one in here. Plus, you can make them look pretty dang cool. The current ones we have in Minecraft by default, great for harvesting coral, but honestly, don't look that great. So, making one of your own here can be the much, much better way to go for this. Now, along with that coral reef, you obviously gotta add some cool coral custom cave with some pirate treasure or loot hidden way back there in the distance. Maybe this could be your starter survival base or something like that. Might be a little hard to find all the coral. You can make a really sweet little storage room and cave system back there inside of the watery caves. Got a conduit that you need to hide somewhere that you just have floating out in the ocean? You could turn that into like a really cool seahorse statue or a Poseidon statue or maybe a giant whale. Whatever floats your boat there. Now we already talked about the superior siege engine of being the trebuchet and I don't want to take anything away from that guy. But if you have a castle you're trying to defend, it's kind of hard to set up a trebuchet on the castle. So maybe we build a small catapult on that guy. Some small details you're looking to add to things around your castle, maybe adding some armor buffs using some anvils and some armor stands can actually make things look a lot more interesting in there and a little bit more ornate. Looking for a new design on how to build a storage room and you don't want to go with that typical wall of chests, maybe turn it into like a storage area for a warehouse on the dock. Using some barrels, some note blocks, crates, and some chests all over the place and you can make a really, really sweet little warehouse without too much effort. Now we can't live on the docks without adding some sort of a trade vessel or fishing boat or something like that out in the water because obviously if you're going to have some docks, something has to be coming into that area. Obviously we all know very, very well that parrots and phantoms love to come eat our crops. So maybe adding a scarecrow of sorts after you can find a mob head or two in your world would be a great way to mix things up down in your crop fields and just add that little extra detail down there. Now statues are something that I really struggle to build with personally and I'm really, really trying to improve on them a lot, but there's something that you can kind of cool add into different areas, maybe as a centerpiece for like an entryway or walkway area coming up into a castle or a greeting area, center of a fountain or something like that. You can really figure out a bunch of ways to throw these things in there. Now, one of my favorite things to add into worlds, which I haven't found a great place to add into my own world yet, is like a clay to brick oven area. Something that you can use to really turn all those bricks that you get, or all that clay that you farm up into bricks, because there's no real great way to do that in the game. You don't have a great oven for it. I thought creating something like this, a sort of a giant kiln, would be a great way to do it. Maybe you're going for a Midwestern build and you're trying to create that really, really dry environment, adding a sort of a water tower here. They look a little plain from the outside, but they are very, very functional and can be a really cool way of adding that extra bit of just watery area and source of water into your world. If you have an extra corner of land that you don't know quite what to do with it, you can just bring in a small garden area and plop a sheep down and it instantly looks great. Looking for an extra challenge when building some custom trees? Maybe go for a spruce tree that's really warped and just crazy from all the wind that's been hitting it so it just is not growing up straight at all, but it still is something really cool to check out and it could be a great thing to add in. Or you can go for the traditional spruce tree design and just have those guys sticking up straight and kind of in that triangular cone shape. Over to the other side of the lake, another great tree that I love adding in with these custom spruce trees is this sort of like an aspen type tree. It's a very skinny tree using birch leaves and just some oak fence in here. We don't have a great way to make an aspen tree, but I want something that looked like it belonged in the mountains some more here, and I think it really, really fits in well. As our final design for today, I pre present to you the most dangerous cabbage patch that you will ever see in Minecraft. If you are at the point where you have copious amounts of creeper heads, and you don't know what to do with them, throw them on some armor stands and just plop them right down on the ground on top of a daylight sensor and it looks like a great, great piece of cabbage and I absolutely love this design. I have not braved the charge creepers enough yet in my own world to come up with this one, but I thought you guys might enjoy it. And with that, that has been like 50 or 60 something different designs that you all can use going into the new Minecraft update. I hope that this was useful for you all. Please let me know down below what your favorite design was if there's anything else you all have planned to build in the new update or in your current world right now, let me know that down below. I'm always looking for new ideas myself, so I really appreciate that. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. It means a heck of a lot to me. You guys have no idea how much that helps the channel. If you're new as well and enjoying this video, please consider subscribing as we got plenty more of this stuff coming along down the road. And with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side.